So for this integral, what we can do is trig substitution. So we can do x is equal to 3 secant theta. And the 3 comes from this, um, the 9, because it's the square root of 9. So it'll be 3. So when we take the derivative of this, it'll be dx is equal to 3 the, and 3. And then the derivative of secant theta is secant theta tan theta d theta. Okay. So now since we have this, the substitution, we can substitute it any time we see an x. So since we see an x here, it'll be 3 secant theta squared minus 9. And then for this x, we have, once again, substituted 3 secant theta. And then dx, so for dx, we substitute this entire thing. So it'll be 3 secant theta tan theta. Now since we have all of that, we can do a little bit of simplification. So for this, um, we can square it, so 3 squared is 9, and secant theta is secant squared theta minus 9, and leave everything the same. Now with all of this, we can use a trig identity to simplify it. So the trig identity we'll use is 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to secant squared theta. So when we subtract, right, when we subtract by 1, we have secant squared theta minus 1 is equal to tan squared theta, and then what we can do is multiply by 9, so have 9 right here, multiply by 9 right here, so 9 squared theta, um, multiply by 9 here is uh, negative 9. So, so we have the equation right here, right? 9 squared theta minus 9. So we can substitute it for what we just derived, which is 9 tan squared theta. So now since we have that, we can simplify it even more. So the square root of this, so square root of 9 is just 3, Square root of tan squared is tan. And then um, see here, it says 3 secant theta. Well, here, since we're multiplying it, right, and this is on the numerator, we can uh, cancel, right, so because this and this is exactly the same. So cancel these two, and they'll leave us uh, with only tan theta. So it'll be 3 tan theta multiplied by tan theta. So that will be, so tan theta times tan theta is just tan squared theta. So now we use the same identity and then um, change it. So 3 tan squared theta, right, is equal to, we can pull out the 3 and it'll just be the same, right? Negative 1 plus uh, secant squared theta. Uh, all I did was just use this tri trig identity on this to break it into negative 1 and then secant squared theta. Now since it's two separate integrals, we can now take the inter integral of each one. So the integral of this one, right, if since now I broke this into two separate ones, um, the negative can be right here, right? So because the negative only goes with this integral, so the negative will be right here. The 3 goes with the entire thing, so that's why the 3 is on both integrals. And so, um, and that's an easy mistake, so watch out for that. Because the 3 goes to both of these, but the negative one is only on this integral. So the integral of 1 will be just theta. So it'll be theta right here. Keep the negative 3. The integral of secant squared theta is tan, right? Because the derivative of tan is secant squared theta. So then plus c. Don't forget the plus c. But we're actually not done, right? Because since the original equation was in, uh, is in the variable of x, and we did a trig sub, we have to change it back into x form. So what we'll do is use this equation, right? Right here. So we'll use that equation. So x is equal to 3 secant theta, right? So we can divide by 3 on each side. So we get x over 3 is equal to secant over theta. So let's think about what secant is, right? Secant is the same thing as 1 over cosine. So 1 over cosine, right? What is cosine? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we have a fraction, we can flip it and multiply it, right? So it'll become, this entire thing will become uh, hypotenuse over adjacent. That means if we drew a triangle, right, the hypotenuse would be x, right, the hypotenuse would be x, and adjacent, so not this one, because that's opposite, the adjacent would be 3. Now since we have two of the sides, we can solve for the third side. So the third side will be x squared minus 9. This side will be x squared minus 9, right? So now we have uh, everything we need. So now why we did that is to change, now since we have this triangle, we can change it into anything we need, right? Because over here, we have tan theta, so we need to make that tan theta into the variable of x. So we can do um, we can do tangent, right? So tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So opposite is square root 
of x squared minus 9, adjacent is 3, so that will become um, x squared minus 9 over 3, and don't forget the 3, right? And so all I did was take the original equation, right? And I took the original equation and changed it into x squared minus 9 over 3. Keep, I kept the 3 there. And then for this one, it's negative 3 theta, right? Theta is just x over 3, and then it would become arc secant, right? Because if I wanted to find um, theta, it would become arc secant. Uh, so uh, because <coughs> secant theta is equal to x over 3, so if I want to find theta, it would be the reverse, so I'd have to do arc secant. So it'd be negative 3 arc secant x over 3 plus this equation, which we converted into this. And then don't forget plus c because that's an easy way to lose points. So I hope all of that helped and thanks for watching.